Hi, and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Lauren McKay. Let's get started. The meeting started with four presentations this time. First, Councilman Alex Montero gave a proclamation to the group Friends in Sight and a recap of the recent eyesight and free glasses giveaway that occurred on September 21st at the Hawthorne Senior Center. Nearly 200 visitors were screened and almost 150 attendees walked away with free recycled glasses. Also, Mayor Pro Tem Olivia Valentine introduced Minister Iman Tariq Malik from the Ahmadiyya Muslim community who spoke about their effort to promote peace and justice within the surrounding neighborhoods. Then Council Member Mike Toledo gave a special recognition to the Blue Strikers of the AYSO Region 21 Hawthorne Boys Soccer Team for their recent season. The team went 33-0 and became the Western States Champions. Congratulations to the players and the coaches. And lastly, a new program was introduced to the community called LA Exit. The program is meant to help alleviate the increase of traffic congestion going in and out of the airport due to the recent construction. There will be a new way for you to connect to your taxi, lift, or other ride sharing options when you are leaving the airport. For more information, go to www.flylax.com forward slash LAX dash IT. There was only one item on the resolutions list this week. That was resolution 8144. Council voted yes to support AARP's Age-Friendly Cities and Communities program. The idea behind the partnership is to make the city's policies more friendly to the older population, which currently in Hawthorne makes up 9% of the population. Next, we're heading to the ordinance portion of the meeting. Council approved Ordinance 2191, which changes the language in a regulation regarding smoking in city-owned facilities. Currently, the code states city-owned facilities means a building owned and occupied or leased and occupied by the city except for a residential space. The language changing will now say including city-owned apartments rather than the word except for clarity. In its first reading, Ordinance 2192 seeks to reduce prolonged vacancies of residential or commercial buildings leading to blight by explicitly writing a new code that says vacancies of 90 or more consecutive days constitutes as a public nuisance and will be enforced. Violators could be prosecuted as misdemeanors. Moving on to the city manager's consent calendar, the city manager approved the agreement with Kurt Fisher Structural Engineering Incorporated to provide seismic retrofit analysis for selected city facilities. There have been many city-owned structures that are decades old and need a reevaluation of their seismic integrity for safety. Also, the city's housing department is announcing that they will be making financial assistance available to organizations who have an interest in rehabilitating rental housing units. Now that it's approved, these organizations will be able to submit applications for the allocated federal funds and if they meet the criteria, will be selected to utilize them for their housing renovation projects. In the City Council's discussion action items, Jesse Villapondo was appointed to the Youth Commission. He hopes to be able to reach out to the youth in the community and inform them on all the available resources that they have. Lastly, Councilmember Montero directed the City Attorney to prepare an ordinance amending Section 8 of the Hawthorne Municipal Code to reduce the number of certified applicants for a fireworks booth from 8 to 6. Council proposed a public hearing on this subject at the next meeting. Well, that's all from the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching for Hawthorne Community Television. We'll see you next time. <music>